Hi Aquarius and Aquarius Rising Friends, Sandra from ForYourChi.com here. We're here today to do your monthly outlook for January 2022. Thank you for being here with me on YouTube. On YouTube, I'm going back to the old way of doing things where we look at the six houses, the first six for free on YouTube. And if you want the extended readings, follow me in the description box below. Those will be on Patreon. Okay. As I look at your six houses here, Aquas, I'm seeing home and family are going to be highlighted here in January. The very first house though, you have heartache and loss. As much as I want to give Aquarius better news because you guys have been hammered for a couple of years now, at least a year. I feel like it's been more like a year and a half going on two years. You do have good news, though, in the 2022 readings. If you haven't seen those, please check them out. It's like the light, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so it's getting better. But as we start January 2022, you are bummed out. Someone or something has disappointed you, Aquarius. Try not to stay in this despair for very long because you do have things to look forward to and there are going to be certain instances where you're going to have to take action and I see something very big coming up in the eighth house by the way very big so if something I would be surprised if something very significant did not I'll just give you a preview did not happen to the aquas where it's like I need to call home I need to write to mom and dad and let them know that this has happened to me. It's that kind of news, okay? Whew, I just got goosebumps. All right. The advice card is Maya, which talks about schooling. Now, it might not be physically going back for, to school. For some of you, it will. This could also be talking about learning lessons that the universe is teaching you at this time and specifically at the beginning of January 2022. What is the money card in your money house moving on? This is you coming out of the darkness into the light. This was reminding me of some of your 2022 reads that I did. You can see the light, but there's a warning not to take the first opportunity because there's a problem with it, okay? So this is going to be very important to double and triple check before you sign on any dotted line, Aqua. Um, and if you need any help with that, make sure you're reaching out to a reader that you trust. Your third house rules your brother or sister and also your communication. They have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is mostly for your siblings. The Wheel of Fortune turns in their favor this month in January and some of them have needed that good fortune. This could also mean that your communication is extra lucky. So make sure you're, if you're, um, you know, if you have your own business or something like that, make sure you're continuing to network. Um, now, the advice card is Vanessa to make a decision here towards the path of your passion. This is talking about your brother or sister especially with this good fortune card here. It's important to go towards what they want and not staying in the same old what isn't working situations and energy, okay? Now, here's here we go with the fourth house, where you currently live. For some of you, this could be talking about your father. Sometimes the father shows up in the fourth house, but for most of you, it's talking about your home. You have trapped in fear. You are afraid to make a move here. For some of you, you may be wanting to physically relocate. For others of you, you may be wanting to, I hate to say it like this, kicking somebody out of your house who is causing a problem. This could be an older grown child, okay? Because you did pull children here, Rosetta. Now this says, Aqua, that you have the gift of working with children. This could also be teaching children lessons here. Let's not forget. Because as a parent, you are the ultimate teacher. 
for some of you, this may I'm getting could be a step child situation where your stepchild lives with you and he or she is causing a major problem and you are afraid to say something. Not good. You definitely need to deal with this, Aquas, okay? Okay, sorry about that, Aqua. I just got a little ahead of myself. Fifth house. Conflict and defeat. So this is you not engaging in an argument in a friendship circle. This could even be on social media. This is you just checking out of that conversation completely. And then a confirmation, Isabella, yes, it is the correct time to not engage in this particular argument with this particular person, situation who feels like they are on their high horse and they are correct about everything, which in fact is not the truth. Okay, let's move on to your sixth house, emotional withdraw. Emotional withdraw, this rules your work and health. So this means that you may need to seek some time out, some rest and rejuvenation, some relaxation, R&R. You may be feeling burned out from work. Now, it's going to be important to get the rest because you did pull Serafina here, which is the angel of happy family and additions coming to your family or changes coming to your home. Now, remember what you pulled in the fourth house. You pulled a child card in your fourth house. This could be a child who actually is moving back in with you. And I just heard a sigh. <laughs> I heard a sigh. But once you get over this fear, Aquas, and the change actually happens, for those of you that I'm speaking to, you're going to feel a lot better, okay? Now, before we move to the extended reading, we're going to look at your, you know, the seventh house shows up in the extended reading. And the seventh house is what rules your primary relationships. I always take a peek at what signs show up in your love space. We have the Hermit card, which indicates a Virgo here. We've got the Queen of Swords, and Swords indicate Air, which is another Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. And we've got... Pentacles here, which indicate an earth sign, which is Virgo, so you got that twice. Um, and also Taurus and also Capricorn. Okay, thank you so much for being with me on YouTube. If you want the extended reading where we're going to look at your relationship house, your house of intimacy, contracts, taxes, legal matters, and the source of your significant other's income. We're going to look at your travel and your school. You're, we're going to look at your mother, your career, your children, your best friends, and most of all, the future. Many blessings.